Good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you uh, identity customization with migration in ESP dot net core. So uh, we have a default uh, application user class in ESP dot net default template. So if you want to add another fields, then put into the application user class that is inherited from identity user okay that application user class exists in the modal folder now address is add that is available in a modal folder in a data context class application user is automatically or you can say is already defined in data context application db context you know very well now come to the part in the register view model in which we have three fields email password confirm password we have a model that is application user and that is a, a view model okay in a view model you must to set a validation but that is not necessary to set in a model so in a view model also set a address class that's fine now come to the part that is package manager console i want to migrate our database or update a database so add add migration hyphen add hyphen migration the name of the migration you you can take any name of your migration i uh, i have to take my first migration name because this is the first migration yeah that's fine now after doing this update your data must when you set add migration the name of the migration or uh, is my first migration and this class is implemented in the solution now after doing this set a new command in the package manager that is update database and wait for 2 to 3 seconds or your processor takes more time yeah update database is done now come to the next part that is controller part or you can put some code in the view also in a view section we have three fields only i want to add another address field so now copy this and paste it here and asp4 that is tag helper in asp.net core is replaced with the address because the new field is address so we have four fields the first field is email second field is password confirm password that is third field and last field is address okay that is newly added in register controller section in account controller class we have two method for the registration that is get and post that get method and the post method here we have username and the email and that is newly created address is this in the modal folder and by using view modal we can get address and put into the modal okay now run iis it's not com uh, much complicated it's too much easy to understand your identity Yeah, that is address field is added. 
ramesh at the red gmail dot com. Set some passwords that is already defined by IDT with the, some rules like uh, you cannot put the same number as well as number. Uh, yeah, that is rules. Password must at least one digits. Again, set another passwords with one digit. Yeah. Oops. Oh. Yeah. Hello, Ramesh at the gmail dot com. This is fine. So now you can check your database is successfully added. Your address field in the database. So we have a database name is ASP Web Application eighteen and some special hexadecimal number. at connection the name of the server is local db ms sql local db that is default in visual studio 2015 and the above versions ms sql local db the name of the database is asp net web application 18 yeah that's fine test connection okay ASP Net users show table data. Yeah, address field is added there. Yeah, ward number twelve. So thank you, thank you very much for watching this video. Please keep watching my all other videos in which is related to ASP.NET Core. Thank you very much again.